Okay. We got Blaster Master time. So let us activate the Elgato. And let me change over all like the stream title category, all that jazz. Yeah. Who is excited for some Blaster Master? Last time we got. Oh, one second. I can move my GameCube controller over. Out of the way. There we go. Last time we got pretty far, got. Round continues, and we're back to the start of the game for today. But that's fine. That's just the way it goes sometimes. And what else do I need to change over? One other thing. Um, what was that the previous command to Blaster Master? Since you know that's what we're playing right now. So if people want to see the previous videos of said game, they want to see me playing Blaster Master, not me playing Animal Crossing. Should be set correctly. Let me just confirm. Excellent. And let me just also share on Twitter and Discord. Switching to Blaster Master now. Uh, awesome. right in. Let's go. Starting off from the beginning again. Once again. Okay, I remember when, like, every stream of Blaster Master would be, like, two attempts from the beginning, and then it was, like, every stream would be, you know, one attempt from the beginning, and now we're, like, Every two streams, we're like back to the beginning. So like, we're making progress. Getting better, until eventually, we'll just beat the game. Eventually, we'll beat the game without dying. Won't that be something? I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe not. We'll see yeah, if that ever happens to happening. But. It's not impossible. How many hits does those things take? Let's let you go down a bit more. So this early bit of the game, we know pretty well at this point. Unless I can kinda... ...do it pretty easily. I know where to go, what to do. What's going on. All that jazz. For the manual, still get hit from time to time, but... And here we have the Metroids. Because, you know, clearly... Clearly this game needed Metroids. Okay. Really wonder, like why there are Metroids in this game, like, like, the, the real world reason, like... <laughs> like, do they talk to Nintendo about, like, hey, we want to include... Metroids in our game. 
or they just do it and hope Nintendo wouldn't notice. Even though it's on, you know, a Nintendo system. Here, I'm really curious about that. Okay. I'm gonna try something. Yeah, okay. Now there's... If I just go straight up here, there's no gun there. Gun power up, but if I go down there first, then there is. I don't know why that is, but hey. Now that I know that that's the case, I can take advantage of that to get a gun upgrade. If I get more gun upgrades, that would be nice, but I'll take what I can get. Okay. Let's go. Ah. Probably the guy up there. Okay. Oh. Being careful of the spikes. And then there's this guy up here. Okay, so you got a couple hits on me. That's fine. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna grab this health after I took out the second one. Cause I'm too, too high a risk, I was gonna lose more health after getting it if I didn't take that guy. There's gonna be one more, yeah. There we go, got him out as well. I like how they have that health there, like... But... Wait. You can't get to it without going over the spikes, which will, you know, cost you health. Which is just like, okay. Nice. Took it out without dying myself. That's what I like to do. I mean, obviously, that's what I like to do. Generally, don't want to be dying in this game. If you're speedrunning, maybe like using um, uh, like death more. Get that. But that wouldn't be against a boss. I'd be like, you know, after a boss, you'd want to like go get yourself game over so that you go back start of the area faster. Can we even get up here? No, we can. I don't know if it's really advantageous, because we need to go back up this way. Oh, I hate this early game. Uh, water physics. Once you get the actual swim upgrade for uh, your tank, that definitely improves things. It's still not perfect, but it improves things. Just so slow underwater. But it is what it is. Our guns are at least, guns are at least more powerful now, so a lot of enemies that were taking multiple shots before are now just the one. Oh, well, this one, which we just couldn't kill before, now takes multiple shots. A lot of multiple shots, but once it's dead, it's just gone. Cause yeah, now we weren't even able to, we wouldn't have been able to do anything to before, which is why we needed the upgrade, so we can move on this way. 
just want to get my full health first, if possible. There we go. To area two. But is there one gonna be one? Yep, all in again. The bullet guy. Another wormy guy? No, no wormy guy in that section, but here. Uh, we'll just ignore that one. Okay. And now we make our way up. Up and up and up. So the next upgrade is going to be another thing for our gun, so that was the hyper upgrade we got, the next one will be the crusher. That allows us to break these, like, kind of blocks that are literally right in front of me. But we do not have that yet, so that kind of very much uh, limits where we can go. Going through here. There we go, back to full power. And... We're gonna have more of those worry guys coming up soon. Yes. Here. Another one. Okay, just the two though. I think more further up, but where will actually. Or maybe in another room. Oh, yeah, because yeah, no, here, yeah, because here's the end of this room. Got those weird flying Skulls. Yeah, and this room is where we get the more wormy guys. And also the lava. Gotta, gotta be careful about the lava. because the wormy guy's got to go in the lava just fine. They don't get hurt. If I go in the lava, I get hurt. It's not fair, I tells ya. Not fair. Oh. Let's take out that thing. That one will just skip, jump over. Oh, I don't actually got it. Oh, no, we don't go in there. We still keep going up higher yet. Higher and higher and higher we climb until we get to the top of the rather right, climb. Yeah, I knew those guys were gonna like spawn mid jump because they had been mid jump and then they despawned. Here's where we go in. I do believe. Yeah, this looks right. Yeah, this is indeed right. Okay, you, you guys just chill over there. Sub weapon down there. Zero twenty forty for our sub weapons at the moment. Full health though, that's the important thing. And through here, I believe, is the next. Yeah, or here is the next boss area. Bit of an annoying boss area, but these I hate these eyeball things. Uh, which way do I want to go? Upper right. I also hate these teleporting guys. Oh, let's... let's 
surprisingly, I did not take any damage. Again, no damage taken. Here, I'm um, struggling to not take damage because there's the eyeballs everywhere and the teleporting guy. There's supposed to be, I thought, gun upgrade in here. So I'm not sure why it's not. The whole point of going up there. So I kind of feel a bit ripped off. That's fine, we'll deal with that. And this way is to actually move on. Oh, well, there's a gun upgrade from that full health from there. Okay. Now, there I don't want to go yet. Stuff. I actually do want to finish off this guy before moving on. Massive gun upgrade, massive health. That's what we needed right there. Whew. Now we can just take these guys out without having to get even too close to them. And then boss room. Uh, second boss is this one. Yes. No, this one is not too shabby. Because its attacks cannot reach me. Well, it's, it's, it's these shots is fire out can reach me. Its arms cannot reach me at the bottom, though. So I just have to stay along the bottom, strafing back and forth. the shots and shooting as much as I can and it, also trying to keep myself lined up with like in between those mandibles with the weak spot although my weapon occasionally only occasionally going straight up and quickly going off to the sides it is what it is but it's not too difficult This one I believe the grenade glitch does work on, but I can beat it the standard way just fine, so I'm not going to bother. I mainly use a grenade trick for 
later bosses so I don't have to get good at them. This one I was already good at before I really knew what the grenade trick about the grenade trick. Because this one doesn't really have a high level of difficulty. For like a speed run, yeah sure. Probably do the grenade trick just because it's, you know. Master. Nope. Unless there's like a category that doesn't allow that, but. Okay. Area 2 complete. And we have the Crusher. Another add up, another improvement to my uh, primary weapon with my tank. Easy shots with him not being able to hit me, but okay. And then back out here, and now we have to go downwards so we can get to area three. To go back to area one. This is the way back. And this is area to area three. Entering into area three. Okay. up in this room. These guys, as long as you don't get too close, they don't activate. Even if they do activate, you can still... As long as you're smart about it, not have them run into you. Before it cause any damage. I'll go up here. Nice. That'll repeat. Excellent. And one more up. I assume, yes. Well, I assume. 
assume I remember whatever. I assume my memory is correct. Kind of what I was going for. Health. I like how shooting them doesn't even activate them, it's just getting close enough. There's so many of these things here. Uh, now I can just ignore and go through here already. Oh, don't want me to go back out. I just want to go on top so I can take out this thing before it drops another more trusted red worm. The other gray worm down there, but they can't get out here. Get out here. No, I can't. I mean, I can take out this one out before it. This one, though, I can take out before it drops. Anything. Same with this one. Oh, one more. Okay. Give me another one of those, yeah, right there, and another one right here. Okay, slightly off with the location of that one, and then there's one up there that we can just not spawn in until we leave. Make things so much easier on me. Okay. That, I don't think we can prevent ourselves. Oh no, we can prevent it from dropping, awesome. That one we can't. That's the one I was thinking of. The next one we can just go right over. Not the same with that one. Not have to worry about them in the slightest. That one as well. Excellent, excellent, excellent. That guy just goes and traps himself in the corner. The other ones, I think, yeah, we can take out before without them activating. Which is definitely the safest way to deal with them. And I think there's one up there which we don't even have to worry about. Activates, but, you know, more. All good. All good in the neighborhood. That'll be like the shortcut back once we get the hover ability, which is what we're going to be getting into this from this next boss. Okay, I got a hit on me. Okay, the one in this room I should be able to take out all of them without them dropping. This one I'm actually surprised that we're able to like go like right next to it. That's it. There we go, back to full health. As we move forward. Okay, just remember to take it a bit slow, Eric. I know these guys, these like, at least the spawn guys flying by makes you want to rush. But, there's a few th reasons why we don't want to rush. Like that. Oh, I got that item already at full health. That's playing that smart. Excellent. Next boss area. Just need to. Take it 
nice and slow and methodically. Play it smart. As we move forwards. And... We don't lose our gun up power. These guys sometimes give me... Oh, God, upgrades. I just want to make sure I don't kill them while they're over the spikes. Like, I killed the first one while I was over the spikes, but it didn't give me a gun upgrade, neither did this one, so ultimately it doesn't matter. But... Gun upgrades in here are a thing. There's one. The hope is that we can get to fully upgraded gun. Just a fully upgraded gun. There we go, that's what we wanted. Okay. Because as long as we don't get hit, that makes this boss a lot easier.
crap, that's a death. My first death, though, of the game. But now we're starting with nothing. Which is always annoying. Don't know what happened to me. I used to be better at that boss. But I think we're going to call it here, actually. I know it's a bit of a shorter stream, even with playing two games, but... Getting game over in this... Always means I'm like, oh, I have to go through that whole area again. So I think we're going to call it as a bit of an early stream today. Especially because I am working at 4 a.m. tomorrow. It's kind of nice to not stay up too late. I think. But let's go see who we can raid. Who is online? Um. Let's see. Okay, so we could raid somebody playing... Um, Baba is you. Could raid somebody playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Could raid somebody playing... Final Fantasy XIV Online. Yeah, thanks to be one of those people. Let me know in the chat if you have a preference for any of those games I just mentioned. Otherwise, I'll decide myself if we're going to go and raid. And yeah, I'll be back tomorrow, uh, 3 p.m. Central Daylight Time, with more Animal Crossing. Um, just Animal Crossing tomorrow. Wednesday, again, 3 p.m. Central Standard Time. Animal Crossing followed by... Uh, Wednesday, Star Wars Ice Old Republic. Thursday, 3 p.m., Animal Crossing, followed by Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Friday, 3 p.m., Animal Crossing, followed by 
Adventures of Lolo 2. Then Saturday will be Animal Crossing, hopefully 8-ish p.m. It's a bit up in the air because of work and grocery shopping and whatnot, but the 8 p.m. Sunday, Animal Crossing at 9 a.m. And a Sub Request Sunday stream at 6 p.m., which is currently looking like Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. And then next Monday, again, 3 p.m., Animal Crossing and Blaster Master. And yeah, schedule for the next week. Since nobody seems to have a preference for who we go and raid, I think we are going to go and raid... Uh, where did I see them? Melody Serafina playing uh, Animal Crossing New Horizons, one of my wonderful Plant Army teammates. I've raided her a few times before and always a fun place to hang out. So yeah, if y'all want to join me on the raid, copy and paste the raid message, join in on the raid, and yeah. Thanks for everyone who came out today, those who chatted, those who just lurked, those who hosted, those who followed, those who subscribed. You're all wonderful people. Thank you for hanging out. It's been a blast, and I will see you all later. Let me just make sure I've copied the raid message, and bye.